Hey, my honor students, I hope you did the videos yesterday. That was all practice for tomorrow's test. Please, please do the video. But anyways, do these two problems right here to get practice. This is just asking for angle A, knowing B, C, and angle C. And this one is just asking for side B, knowing two angles and a side. So do that right now, and then I'll do it. Okay, so tomorrow I'm not going to make a, a new video. I might make a video that just says, hey, do the test. Or for my 8th graders, I'll make a video that just shows the test, so you have something to do to send me. But my high school, the test will be on Scoopagy. Schoology, and it will be given in the morning, and you have till 8 o'clock at night. And I'm going to start taking uh, points away for late unless you have a good reason and there's a lot of good reasons out there uh, so anyways uh, let's do these two should know how to do these now uh, I always make a little triangle to help me out do you have to No, but you do have to show your work on tomorrow's test or I will take major points off so uh, C is 36 B is 30. I know angle, I don't know angle A. Uh, so I'm going to use trig. Uh, a is, this is adjacent. This is hypotenuse. That's cosine. So I'm going to do cosine. I'm looking for the angle. Equals 30 over 36. Adjacent over hypotenuse, correct? So let's see what we got here, my peeps. And of course, my calculator won't turn on. Oh, there we go. So let's see. I got to find cosine. Then I'm going to go uh, 30 divided by 36. And I get 33.56. Now yours might be a little bit different. Now if you got 50, that's not a little bit different, my kids. So this one. Now I know angle B right away, it's 50, because those two have to add up to 90, but it's not asking for angle B, it's asking for side B. Mercy. So let's see A, B, C, C, A, B. Now I'm looking for this side. I know that this is 200 and I know that this is 40. Now again, I could use this if I wanted to use 50, but adjacent over hypotenuse that would be cosine again. So cosine 40 equals B over 200. So it would be 200 cosine 40. Make sure you're in degrees. Hopefully I'll write that on the test tomorrow because most people forget that. And that is sad. So 200 times... Cosine of 40. And I get 153.1. Now, new stuff. This stuff won't be on the test tomorrow, and that's the law of cosines. What if you do not have a right triangle? So they came up with two formulas that we're going to talk about the next four or five school days, probably up to next Tuesday or Wednesday. And if this was normal class, you'd have to memorize this formula. But I'm not going to make you memorize it. Just know how to use it. Law of cosines deals with two types of triangles or two types of information in a triangle. You have to be given two sides and the included angle, the angle made by the two sides, 
or you have to be given all three sides and you're looking for an angle. So, uh, notice this. If I have, now notice uh, the triangle isn't drawn to scale. So ABC, this would be CBA. And I tell you, this is 5, this is 7, and this is 40. Notice I'm giving two sides an included angle. So notice if I have this distance, this distance, and I know how far apart they are, then there's only one measurement the opposite side could be because I know how far apart they are. So I'm just going to plug each chuggy. It'd be, uh, it's the side we're looking for squared equals other side squared plus other side squared. So it sort of looks like Pythagoras, but then you got to subtract twice the other two sides, cosine the opposite angle, which in this case is C. So it's unknown. I'm looking for side C squared equals other side squared plus other squared minus twice other side, cosine the angle opposite the side. So in this case, I have C squared equals 5 squared plus 7 squared minus 2, 5 times 7, cosine 40. So uh, 5 squared is 25 plus 49 minus, uh, this is 10, that's 70, cosine 40. Now here's where you got to be careful. And we're going to do more of this on Friday, so don't panic. A lot of people will get this far. And I actually think if they're not bad numbers, simplify as far as you can go without a calculator, then use a calculator. But a lot of people do 74 minus 70 is 4, and you cannot do that. Does anyone remember why? Remember why? That's right, the order of operations. So, oh shoot, I just dropped my calculator. Ah, uh, Menudo. Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Okay, let's clear this up. So I have 74, oops. I have square root of 74 minus 70 cosine 40, close parentheses, close parentheses equals and I get uh, 4.5. Now notice C is not the biggest side this time, but that's because C is not the biggest angle. This is not a right triangle. So you have to be careful. In a right triangle, C has to be the biggest. Now let's look at this one. We're given all the sides. Now it says find the largest angle. Which one would be the largest angle? Well, remember, the largest angle is always opposite the largest side. So, it would be C squared equals A squared plus B squared, because C is the largest angle. That's what we're looking for. I'll bring this up. Minus 2AB cosine C. So, I would have 18 squared which is 324 equals 12 squared is 144 plus 10 squared is 100 minus 2AB, this is 120, so that'd be 240, cosine C, so 324 equals 244 minus 240C, cosine C, excuse me. So I'm going to subtract 244 
that would be 80 equals a negative 240 cosine C. So I'm going to have 80 divided by negative 240 equals cosine C. Now remember, whenever we're looking for an angle, that's when you use the negative 1 uh, cosine. So let's see what we got here. Uh, cosine with the little negative 1 button. Uh, 80 divided by 240. And it messed up. Let's try this again. Oops, I messed up again. One more try, and if I don't get it, I'm going home. Okay, cosine. 80 divided by a negative 240, close parentheses, equals, and I get 109.47. Sorry about that, kids. It was causing me problems. Okay. Have a good day. You might want to review stuff. Don't cheat tomorrow, okay? Don't cheat. Bye.